Tales from Hotel Rudel. The Padded Room One afternoon in my mid-twenties, I went over to a good friend's house that I enjoyed watching movies with. He had the very large screen and was had a very large collection of movies and always got the latest movie. So while I was over there, I think it was one of the new Raiders of the Lost Ark movies, he suggested that we take psilocybin mushrooms. I thought this was a good idea to watch the new movie with as we were just going to sit in his small little bungalow and watch the movies and drink beer. So about halfway through the movie, as we were just starting to enjoy ourselves, he stands up, turns off the TV and says he has to go pick up his wife from work. And I said, okay, I'll wait here. And he says, no, why don't you come with me? We'll go get her and you come along for the ride. She'd like to see you. I said, I really don't like to go to her work. No, come on, it's okay. You'll be fine. After about 10 minutes of convincing, I got in the car with him. Well, at least I thought it was a car. But, oh oh, oh well, Um, it got us there. And where it got us to was the state mental institution that had been there for over a hundred years. She was a psych tech nurse in one of the more extreme wards. I said, okay, go get her. I'll wait in the car. I'm fine here. No, 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 he says to me. You, you got to come with us. Going through the long tile hallways of this place was creepy enough. Uh, we had to take the stairs up at the end of the building, up three flights, and we went back down the other long hallway of tile, down to a very secure door with large locks on it with a little window you know one of those windows with the wire mesh in it so my friend knocks on the door a pair of eyes look through the window the door opens and it opens up to what is can only be described as the observation room where also they dispense the medication now if you've seen one flew over the cuckoo's nest that's pretty much it but I think they had way thicker glass as I walked in the patients inside what only could be described as a large rec room I guess with a central TV and many couches and other little tables when they saw I walked in they all stood up and slowly walked towards the window I guess it had just been medication time because there was a lot of drool going on from what I could see. About 15 of them came up to the window and pressed their faces up against the window and were all kind of chanting, who's that? Who's that? Or, okay, probably when something like this. Who's that? Who's that?
I faded back into the corner, very concerned that they could come through the window at any moment. Both Howard and Gertrude laughed a little bit and said, it's all right, you're just a new face and they're very curious about anyone new who comes in here. Go ahead, go back up to the glass and introduce yourself and say hello. I understood this and, and went up to the glass without much hesitation and said hello. It's nice to meet you all. After about 15 minutes or so, all the patients had gotten their medication and settled back down into their chairs to watch TV. A few more minutes went by before there was a great disturbance in the rec room. Many of the patients came running up to the window, shouting and pounding on it. Howard, Howard, come help us. There's something wrong with the TV, as they all pointed towards it. Howard knew what to do. He went out the back door of the medication station and in through the main doors led in by the orderlies. He walked up behind the TV and seen someone had tripped over the cable cord. So he put it back in and the TV worked fine. And they all shouted, Yay, Howard, yay. You always know what to do. Howard signaled to me to come in. He waved me in and I was sh shaking my head. No, 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 that's all right. I, I think I'll just wait in here. And he laughed and said, no, come on in. The orderlies will let you in. So I went in and everyone was curious about me. Howard made the rounds and introduced me to everyone. And then they all went back to watching TV and as I came out the double doors, there were two interns and Gertrude waiting for me. She laughed and said, now, we're gonna do this the easy way. Bob and Ned here, they're gonna fit this jacket on you and you're gonna go with them. Or we can give you a shot and put the jacket on and then you can go with them. A very tall, muscular orderlies held out my new special jacket for me and put it on and put all the straps on tight. They led me down a long hallway, one hand on each shoulder, to a room with a, which took a large key to open. As they opened it, there was only one light in there up from the ceiling, illuminating it barely. It was the padded room. They shoved me in, shut the door, and locked it. I turned around, ran up to the door, which had a small window on it, and looked out. I could see Gertrude laughing. She walked away. The time that went by in there was so slow. I was told later it was only an hour, but... An hour to face what? Why was I in there? Was she ever gonna let me out? I sat down in the corner, afraid, alone, and started to realize why there were so many faces on the wall in the shadows, because the mushrooms had finally really kicked in. This left me a lot of time to think. Who were the shadows on the walls? Were they from my mind? Was I gonna get out? And time to think. I need to pick my friends a little bit better. As I was almost crawling on the floors looking at the interesting figures and stains on the padded floor, I could hear the lock turn in the tumbler and the door open. 
The two interns took the jacket off of me, slapped me on the back, and said, Well, hope you had fun. We know how much fun it is in there. Gertrude and Howard were waiting for me. We walked slowly to the car out front. I got in the back seat. I didn't say anything as they drove off. Howard said, well, should we go back and finish the movie? I just told him he could drop me off at home, that I needed to lay down for a little bit and think about the padded room.